I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Where to now? Left, across the square! Hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the match? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel! Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. 
Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are down blue. They brought Archon here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw you wanted healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. And why not? It's what's kept us alive. <coughs> Uncle Artyom! Don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? Ten years. We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture Stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. That's exactly why Is that supposed there. to make him you better? Him Please, leave my son alone. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. <laughs> sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. Uh, I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But... Who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. <laughs> something that will save us. I don't know. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. <sighs> I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. It's something that will save us. I don't know. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for us, no. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see you're all right. gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, you're you are the nurse of the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah-ha! Uh, uh, Dr. Right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official! Yeah. I knew it! You guys are like so this. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. And? More of nothing? Artyom. The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. 
Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Again! Draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Oh, 
about you take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Artyom, help me get out there. Come on, get in! 